this mom left her one-year-old daughter alone with their new dog for seconds, but when she returned, what she saw horrified her. The incident happened back in 2007 in Atherton in Australia. The Svilsik family was, for all intents and purposes, normal. Catherine and her husband loved each other very much, so they decided to have a baby. It wasn't long until their daughter, who they named Charlotte, was born. Catherine and her husband adored their baby girl, but they felt like there was something missing still. So, just over a year later, they decided to go to an animal rescue shelter to see if they could find a new member for their family, this time one with four legs. Well, it wasn't long before they came across an adorable Doberman Pinscher, who was called Khan. The family fell in love with the Doberman straight away and knew he was the dog for them. When they first saw the animal, he wasn't in good shape though. He was an abused dog. It was borderline on whether or not he should be put down because he was in such a bad way, Catherine said. Khan had been so badly mistreated that he was seriously malnourished, had several broken ribs, and had clearly been beaten by his previous owners. But despite knowing the animal's tragic past, the Svilsik family decided to take a chance on him and give the dog a second chance at life. But after only having him for four days, Khan would do something no one could have expected. It was four days after the Svilsik family had adopted the canine from the shelter when the incident happened. It had started off like any other normal day. The weather was warm and sunny, and Charlotte, her mother, and Khan were all playing in the garden to get some fresh air. Catherine turned away for only a few seconds as the canine and her daughter played side by side. But then, suddenly she heard growling. She looked back over, only to see the large Doberman snarling. At first, Catherine was worried that the dog was being aggressive towards Charlotte, but that wasn't the case. What the worried mother didn't know was that there was a snake lying in the shade underneath the house. But it wasn't just any snake, it was a King Brown snake, the third most venomous snake in the world. Khan had spotted the potentially deadly creature and was trying to warn it off whilst also trying to nudge Charlotte away from the dangerous reptile. Being only 17 months old, Charlotte had no clue what the canine was trying to do. It was at this point that Khan decided to take things into his own hands. Well, pause. Desperate to try and get her to safety, the dog picked the baby up by her diaper and gently tossed her a few feet behind him. If I had not seen it with my own eyes, I would never have believed it, Charlotte's mother said. Khan was really concentrating. He kept trying to nudge her but it wasn't working, so he grabbed her by the back of the nappy and threw her over his shoulder, more than a meter. But with the baby out of the way, Khan was the next closest thing to the snake, which wasn't too happy. By moving Charlotte so suddenly, the canine had accidentally angered the reptile, which then lunged out from underneath the house and bit him on his paw. Charlotte looked pretty shocked and Khan screamed like he'd been stabbed, said Catherine. I realized quickly it was a snake and Khan had been trying to get in between her and the snake before he threw her. As if knowing that he didn't have much time to get help, the dog rushed into the house where he promptly collapsed on the floor. Catherine had witnessed the entire event and was incredibly worried about her four-legged friend. She immediately rushed Khan to the vets who were able to give the canine an anti-venom shot before it was too late. Even though the incredibly brave animal managed to get the antidote to the venom though, he was still in for a long night of pain as the venom made its way around the dog's body. Luckily, the Doberman made a full recovery, and the next day, he was given a very large breakfast as a treat for his amazing heroics. An Atherton snake expert told the local press that Khan may have escaped death because the snake was not able to inject a large amount of venom into his paw. This was because the dog managed to snatch it away quickly before the reptile could really latch on. The story would have been very different had the bite pierced the skin of little Charlotte though, who would have been more susceptible to the venom and likely would have died. Catherine and her husband were incredibly thankful to their new furry family member. If Khan wants a gold bowl, Khan gets it. We owe him for the rest of his life, said Catherine when she was being interviewed for the local news. Khan's act of heroism was so amazing that it was almost as if the canine was trying to show his gratitude to the Sevelsick family for taking him in and saving his life when he really needed a sympathetic hand. Had the family not gone to the shelter that day and found the adorable Doberman, then this story might have ended up with a much more different ending. Khan isn't the only dog to tackle a venomous snake one-on-one -on -one in order to protect a child, though. In 2020, a dog was bitten at least four times by a venomous snake whilst trying to protect a 12-year-old child. The attack happened in the Garatuba neighborhood of Bertioga, in Sao Paulo, in Brazil. 24-year-old Andressa da Silva dos Santos said that the six-foot Jararassa snake might have attacked her 12-year-old sister had it not been for their dog, Typhoon. The 12-year-old girl's mother had apparently sent her on an errand to a neighboring residence in order to open the gate as requested by the property's owner. 
but on her way back from her task, the little girl came across the deadly snake which stopped her in her tracks. When she was coming back, she saw the Jerarasa approaching and screamed, De Silva said, adding that her sister was frozen by fear until Typhoon arrived on the scene. My mother has four dogs and they all followed but only Typhoon faced the snake. I think that in his desperation to attack the Jararasa, he was bitten a few times. The snake then slithered away, and the frantic family rushed Typhoon to the nearest vets. The doctor even said that if he were my sister, he wouldn't have survived, because according to him, the dog has much more resistance to the poison, De Silva said. The University of Michigan's Animal Diversity Database says that Bothrop species account for the most human deaths in the New World, and Brazilian pit vipers pose a significant risk to humans. Encounter rates are high, because the species is abundant within its geographical range and its preferred habitats include agricultural fields. The toxins present in their venom cause swelling at the envenomation site, necrosis, blistering, hemorrhagic blems, systemic bleedings into the skin, gums and nose, and subconjunctival hemorrhage. Collectively, these effects can lead to death due to shock, renal failure, and intracranial hemorrhage, compounded by severe hypertension. Luckily, Typhoon was able to overcome all of this as he was able to get the anti-venom treatment in time. It took a while for De Silva's family to raise enough money for their dog's treatment, but they were able to get the help they needed through various fundraisers on the internet. Thanks to the generous and kind strangers who donated, seven-year-old Typhoon was able to pull through his ordeal and make a full recovery. Whilst this incident might be fairly rare, venomous snakes are a big worry in places like Brazil, as they are indigenous to the area and are attracted to cool shelter that buildings provide, as well as the abundance of food in the form of rats and mice that are attracted to the city and town's rubbish. But for this one amazing dog, I think it's safe to say that he will be spoiled rotten for the rest of his life, thanks to his heroic efforts, although he might be avoiding snakes as much as possible in the future. Aren't these animals amazing? Let me know what you thought of these stories in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome videos.